Hello, my name is John Ryuta, and I am the Product Development Manager responsible for binoculars, spotting scopes, microscopes, and outdoor electronics at Celestron. We often receive questions about the best ways to clean optics in our telescopes, binoculars, microscopes, and our other instruments. Recently, though, in light of world events, we've been receiving questions about how to sanitize the outside of our products. First of all, we always recommend that when using any optical instrument between people or when receiving one back from someone else, that you handle it with gloves and that you encourage people to use the mask while using it and while cleaning it yourself. I'll forego putting them on here because you didn't watch this video to watch me try and wrestle my way into a pair of gloves. First of all, binoculars. This happens to be our Nature DX ED binocular. It's fully armored with a synthetic rubber armor and there are naturally large touch area that needs to be sanitized. So for such surfaces, we use alcohol at a 75% or greater ratio. I like to keep a little bottle mixed up just for such purposes. This is isopropyl alcohol. Don't go to the liquor cabinet and get vodka. This is actually isopropyl alcohol from a drugstore. Now, for sanitizing these instruments, you need a clean cloth. Take some of the alcohol. I like to keep it in the spray bottle because it's just handier that way. Give a good spray. And then all you simply do is wipe down the surface of the binocular, keeping attention to not getting it onto the lenses themselves, which is why you spray it onto the cloth instead of the binocular. And so give it a nice clean. Don't forget the focal dial because that's of course where people put their fingers. Get the back side, and there you have it. Freshly sanitized Nature DX ED binocular. Now, for other instruments, such as microscopes and some of the parts of telescopes, alcohol isn't really the appropriate substance. The touch points are of a harder plastic, and in many cases you have to get much closer to the glass itself. And so rather than using alcohol, I like to use a bleach solution. Uh, this is one part to 48 parts water, so it's a 148 ratio of bleach to water. I also prefer to use a cotton bud rather than a cloth. And the reason for that becomes very clear when you take a look at what you're cleaning. This, for example, is our Celestron Labs CM1000C microscope. Generally, for the touch points of a microscope, you are thinking of the focal control dials. You're also thinking of the eyepiece itself. And you may be thinking of the objectives, which of course have to be rotated. The use of a cotton bud gives you much greater control when cleaning these objects. So for instance, if you were to clean, you take your bleach solution, dab a little bit of that on the cotton bud, take the eyepiece itself, and then simply wipe down the outer surface of the eyepiece. You can even get inside, keeping away from the glass lens itself. You don't wish to touch the glass lens itself or else you risk possibly deteriorating the coatings. So again, that's the reason to use a cotton bud when doing this type of cleaning. You can also get into the crevices of the different portions of the focal dial. It takes a little bit longer, but that's the important thing is to be careful with the control. So. That is the microscope. The same technique can be used when cleaning the touch points of a telescope. Now this happens to be our first scope signature series. Uh, it's a moon image by Robert Reeves that decorates the outside of this. It's rather attractive, I think. For the eyepiece, you handle it the same way as you would handle a microscope eyepiece. Cotton bud to there. Simply go around all of the surfaces like so. The focal controls also need to be cleaned in the same way. 
And again, the cotton bud allows you to get into the creases of the focal dial to get them nice and clean. That is the telescope. Always make sure to close your bleach because it does have a bit of a smell. That's really all there is to it. I thank you for watching this. If you have questions about Celestron products, anything you'd like to know really about them, or how to handle them, or how to maintain them, please post using the hashtag DearCelestron. I'm John Ryuta, wishing you curiosity, good observing, and good day. Thank you.